MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. The June Vodcast, in association with Herco Europe, held at their 2015 Open House. Mark is talking with Managing Director David Waghorn. Dave, it's uh, the second day of your Open House, early doors. How's it been the last couple of days? Uh, first day was very good. Um, one of the incentives of coming to the show was we had um, several second-hand machines to, um, to look at and to sell. As it's turned out, all, all the four that we got ready for the show are all sold now. So um, still a couple of ex-demo bargains to be had. And we've got a few people pre-registered, so it's looking good at the moment. In general terms, how is business, uh, or certainly this year for you? Yeah, it's been good. I mean, we're really in a busy period at the moment. We went to advanced manufacturing at the start of the month, and we've got this show, and then we're going to manufacturing northeast early July. Um, so there's been a lot of machines to get prepared and sorted. Um, on the whole, business has been very good. We saw a little flat patch earlier in the year, but things have really picked up through May and June. So. Is there any more or new machines that will be launched uh, over the period of time? Um, there are a couple of things likely to happen sort of towards the end of the year. Um, I think we've got a major launch plan for around September. At the moment, we're the main sort of incentive for the open house here is to turn over all the machines, replace them with the new technology and move from there, really. That's great. Thanks very much for the invitation, Dave. Sounds like it's been a really busy two days for Herco, which is absolutely fantastic. Also, I know Mark's been busy, so let's find out what he's been up to. It's been a busy month so far. Uh, we've been at the Subcon and Advanced Manufacturing Show with Hexagon. Uh, they were showing their Leica Absolute Tracker uh, that was uh, linked to a robot from KUKA. It's a great, great bit of kit, uh, but you can actually see the video on MTD site. Uh, so please take a look at that. Um, on behalf of Sodisec, uh, we was invited to Hellerman and Titan uh, which are a manufacturer of many plastic components. Uh, one of the big things is cable ties that they produce. Uh, they've got a fantastic uh, tool room there. And with that in mind, uh, Soditech have actually sold three machines and uh, we, we've produced a fantastic video. It should be live on the site in July. But other than that, it's just been flat out. So thanks to Mark for that. Straight into it. Paul, Joe. How you doing, Cole? Right, Hi, guys. Colin. Hi. All I'm going to say is do some humour. Yep, this was a, a new story that was on the website the other day. Uh, Mill CNC supply the Doosan range. It, there used to be a Doosan Puma 400 and 500 machine uh, turning centre, and they've now been superseded by the 4100 and the 5100 machine. I know from previous experience that the Puma 400 was a popular machine in the oil and gas markets uh, for cutting duplexes and difficult materials. Uh, they were sort of 15, 18 inch chuck machines. This new uh, model has superseded the 4 and 500 and has got 22 different models within the range. So it's quite really, an extensive range. Uh, very, very extensive. That obviously, you, you know, you can have 10 station turrets, 12 station turrets. Um, so really in, in, in the fashion that they've been uh, going through in recent years, Doosan have now evolved the 400 into a new model. So basically, what was previously an excellent model now just moved it on that next step. Even better. Okay. Joe, what about you? You've been out to see Multispark, I understand. Yeah, Multispark, a happy client of CNC Internationals. They've, they've just bought two Accutech EDM machines. Uh, very happy with them. They've been in a couple of months when we went down to see them. No problems at all. Um, they've got new technology on it, a touchscreen programming uh, system, uh, conversational, really easy to program. You, you may have a chance of programming it one day. <laughs> I doubt that, but hey, fair enough. Low energy use, so is that right? Yep, we've got a new um, linear motor which reduces the energy consumptions, which is very important well, for everyone, but EDM in particular that run a lot of time, not lights out and what have you. Um, but more, in, more impressively, it was down to the relationship Richard and the rest of the guys at CNC International had with the client. It was all down to service and support. So really, yeah, key is the relationship you're saying there. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, excellent to know. Paul, back to you. Hardinge? Super precision. That's what Hardinge have just launched, a machine called the Conquest H51. We did a video actually on this machine some time ago at the AMB show in September. And it's a super precision machine with sub-micron machining capabilities. 
For those that don't know what that means is it's basically if you're looking for a turning centre which can achieve fantastic uh, surface finishes and almost grinding like precision results then this H51 is the machine. So sub-micron, less than one micron is that? Uh, it, it's sub-micron machine in accuracy. It's, it really is something else. But also with the Hardinge machine comes their collet ready quick change spindle and this is standard with uh, some of the hard inch machines which means you can go from job to job very very quickly very popular and it's going to be a very very successful seller paul thank you for that now joe i understand you've been out to see cosworth yeah a great video at cosworth and it's all about automation and turnkey basically uh, Matt Sora have handled that start to finish. It's uh, an impressive installation, but in a nutshell, Cosworth, we all know what Cosworth do, but they're not, they are an OEM, but they're not making tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of engines. They're looking to make 20, 30, 40 a year. So you don't need these massive volumes anymore. It's about getting efficiencies out of your spindles. If you're not cutting metal, you're not making money. Yep. So just about efficiency. Impressive, impressive installation. Absolutely. And one thing I would say is, you know, we do do quite a few videos. Watching the Cosworth one is really, really impressive. Things like they've got four machines there, one set of tools. One big library of tools. Yeah, it's a good idea. Instead of having the same tools on all the machines, because you never know which way the pallet's going to go, they don't have any of the tools on the machine. They're stored at a different location, all automated again and the Lobot will place the tools in the appropriate machine. And you say four or five, uh, it's either four or five machines, yep. but that has now just been doubled. Uh, Cosworth have, have reordered, or they, they were planning in 18 months time to double the, the, the capability and capacity. And they've done that, I think 18 months ahead of schedule. And you're right, that video, fantastic. 1,400 views in less than two days. Oh really, that's really, really impressive, really. So definitely worth a view, that one. Now guys, giving us some highlights from the site, absolutely fantastic. Now, I'm going to give you two minutes each. Just so, two minutes? Yeah, I know, calm yourselves down. Paul, tell me what's been going on. Okay, in my two minutes, uh, I would start with the day that I spent at Dugard's where I reviewed Samsung lathes. And uh, one of the things that Dugard asked us to focus on was the build quality, and they were right to do so. Because when we explored uh, what the, the, how the machines were built and the fact that they're a one-piece casting and they're, they're, they're a tubular casting, which means that when you're machining and you're taking deeper cuts, the casting will dampen out any vibration, which means you get brilliant surface finishes and you also get very accurate results. But not just once or twice, but longevity for, for long periods of time. And that applies to their smallest machine, their PL1600, right the way up to the PL45 or, or 50 machines. Have you got we, all those numbers right there? Yeah, yeah, that, that we looked at. Really good day there and really good videos. Um, we also did uh, some videos at ETG in Ireland. Um, we, there's no better endorsement than having a cutting tool supplier tell you that your machines outperform a lot of others or are up there in the upper echelons of, of quality. And that's what uh, Andy from Iskar told us about the hard inch machining centres when he was doing hard metal and high speed machining, that the hard inch machines really were up, were up there in terms of what they produced. We also did a, a, a very quick video with Rob Beckett on the ETG work holding. Yep. It's a big area for ETG. They've developed a work holding website. So it means that when people are buying machining centers, lathes from ETG, they can also get their tooling and their work holding. So from that's fairly well. new for ETG doing the work holding. Yeah, it's been going for a while, but it's, it, they're really, really, it, it's, it's becoming very successful. More of a focus. Because en engineers are going, well, I bought a machine off you actually. Why don't I buy the tooling and the uh, auxiliary equipment as well? So that was, uh, that was good. Have I got any time left? No, you've got, well, well, you got 15 got, well, seconds. Go on. OK, two more videos. Automation, uh, both focusing on automation. CMZ gantry loading lathe at Empire Manufacturing. Yeah. A really good visit. It, it, it showcases the fact that this particular machine is loaded with a bar feed as well as a gantry. So both, which gives engineers complete flexibility. Uh, and it means that Empire, who are traditionally a sliding head machining company can now offer fixed head turning, uh, batch uh, component manufacture on billets as well as their sliding head work. And, and to couple with that, on the automation note, we did a, a, a really nice video with Mark Hall from Mazak on their auto loading MSY lane. Paul, well, that was a very long two minutes if not 15 seconds, but thank you for that. I was going to say we were here at Herco as well a couple of weeks ago. 
oh, and they were two minute videos. Okay. In fact, we did about six two minute reviews on machines oh, and they were two minutes and they were brilliant. Lovely, so excellent, so well. watch those. Joe, you have two minutes. That's not a Paul Jones two minutes, that's a Joe two minutes. Okay. Okay, well, the, the first one, we were invited to an innovation day at Mazak on behalf of Open Mind. And we sat down in the presentation, we, we were told by Adrian, what you're about to see is going to be the biggest machining strategy of the, of the decade. In fact, he actually opened by saying it's going to be bigger than in the introduction of five axis machining. And to a certain extent, I think it could well be. It's basically coupling relatively old technology with new software and new cutting techniques to make a new strategy. And in a nutshell, obviously you need to watch the video, but in a nutshell, it's, it's, it's putting a large radius on the side of a tool, so like a barrel tool from, the, from yeah. the, your apprenticeship days, and using that with five axis machining, uh, machines and the software to reduce the chip thickness, so significantly increase feed rates and step over. And uh, the demonstration we saw, there was a 90% reduction in cycle time. So that video is not on the site yet though, is that right? Imminent. Imminent, okay. Imminent. What else have you been up to? Um, again, on the automation, bit of a theme today, but a fast M's installation with, with DMG Mori at RE Thompson, a great installation. We uh, spoke with Nick Statham, the national sales manager from Fast M's UK, and in a nutshell, he's saying, instead of just buying another machine, why don't you, you know, take stock, have a look at it, and automate the ones you've got? Because his argument is, and it's a good argument, keep your spindles running, make them as efficient as possible before you look to buy another machine tool. And I think it's probably correct, to be honest with you. So, again. Well, Fast Stems are doing really well. They've, uh, talking to Nick, a lot of, he's, he's, you know, they really are excelling in the UK market. A lot of people are going down the automation route. Absolutely. Well, it makes sense if you can get the machines running 24 hours a day, get those engineers making some more money. I, th I think it's key, Colin, to be honest. I think if you fast forward 10 years' time, I, don't, I, don't, I think if you're not embracing that sort, sort of technology, your business is certainly not going to grow. You, you're probably going to go backwards. So gotcha. if you're not thinking about automation, it needs to be in the back of your mind on your next machine tool purchase. Absolutely. Guys, you've both had two minutes. Thank you very much for that. It's been great. So that's coming to the end of the show. Uh, before we do, I just wanted to mention, Colin, some site facts. I think it's important. I know we talk about the news, but uh, we've now got 584 subscribers to our YouTube channel, which is pretty impressive for, for certainly for the UK domestic market. Uh, over 30,000 views of our videos uh, in the last 28 days, which is again is really impressive. Um, we've got Twitter followers, Twitter followers 6,000 and still growing. So social media, still all the rage. Um, and we actually had our best week of traffic two weeks ago to the MTD CNC site, which was 7,137 visitors. All right, so some really, to get those points really impressive points. statistics here. Absolutely fantastic. Guys, Thank you. We're going to wrap the show up. Just one final word, one final, final word. Notice that Mark's not here. We spoke to him earlier, but he's off to cycle the Alps. So we all like to wish him the best of luck. And we'll probably see his Twitter feed as he's hurling down those mountains. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully on his bike. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Paul, Joe, thank you. Thanks, thank you. Thanks, thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.